Now we'll talk about subtracting whole numbers. Subtraction, as you should know by now, is the opposite of addition. If addition means adding more, then subtraction means taking some away so that you have less. And the minus sign is used to indicate subtraction. Minus sign like you see right here, 9 minus 2. And um, we'll uh, say a few things about some terminology here, just some, some terms, some definitions that you should know that, that are related to subtraction. If we have uh, this example here, 9 minus 2, the number 9 is called the minuend, M-I-N-U-E-N-D, and the number 2 is called the subtrahend, S-U-B-T-R-A, H E N D. Those aren't terms that you hear very often, but they're terms that are good to know. And when you actually do the subtraction, 9 minus 2 gives you 7. The number 7 is called the difference. And that is a term that you hear a lot, and one you should definitely know. The difference is what you get when you subtract the one number from another. And that, that term should make sense. It tells how different the two numbers are. You could think of it as how far apart the two numbers are. If you looked on a number line, the distance between 9 and 2 would be 7 units on the number line. So you can think of the difference as how far apart the two numbers are. When we are working with numbers that have multiple digits, we arrange them in a manner similar to the way we did it with addition. We have the place values lined up. So all my ones, for example, are in one column. My tens are in another column. My hundreds are in another column, and so on. And then we just subtract the ones here on the bottom row from the ones up above it. So uh, 8 minus 6 is 2. And then we do the same thing in the tens column. We subtract the 1 from the 4. And 4 minus 1 is 3. And then we do 7 minus 2, which is 5. So we have 532 in that first example. And it's uh, typical to start from your ones place and work your way up to the higher valued places. So in the second example, I think to myself, 8 minus 7 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1, and 9 minus 2 is 7. So the answer is 711. And then in this third example, 7 minus 5 is 2, 6 minus 1 is 5, and 4 minus 3 is 1 for an answer of 152. Because subtraction is the opposite of addition, when we do a subtraction problem, we can use addition to check and make sure that the answer is correct. And I'll show you what I mean here. 973 minus 441. Let's subtract here. We start over here with the 1's. 3 minus 1 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. And 9 minus 4 is 5. So we get an answer of 532. What this means is that the 532 and the 441 should add up to 973. And we can do that to check our work. So here's my check. I'll take the 532 and add 441, and they should add up to 973. So I start here in my right hand column, my ones place, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then in the tens, 3 plus 4 is 7, and then in the hundreds place, 5 plus 4 is 9. 973, so that checks out. That check gives me some extra confidence that 532 is the correct answer for my subtraction problem.